Judy Newman. Thank you Hello. so much for inviting me. Are you ready for your 73 questions? I'm ready. Well, before we start, Judy or Judith? Judy. Can you sign your name? Sure. Nice. Well, this is a beautiful building that you live in. How long have you lived here? Hi, we came in when the Clintons came in. So we've been here since 1993. And why'd you move to DC? Because I was going to work in the Department of Education as the Assistant Secretary for the Office of Special Education and Rehabilitative Services. Well, what's the best part of living in DC? Uh, I love DC because museums are supported by tax dollars, any of the Smithsonian. And we live right next to the zoo, and I like the accessibility. Well, you're from Brooklyn, and so what do you miss most about Brooklyn? Oh, I miss the speed of Brooklyn, I miss the food, I miss the people. And what's your favorite slang term from when you were growing up? The kids upstairs. <laughs> well, true or false? You were born in Philadelphia? True. And what's your zodiac sign, Judy? I am a Sagittarian. Well, Judy, I can't help but notice that you have your phone clutched in your hand. Always. So who was the last person you texted? Uh, Joe Quinn. Last person you called? My brother. And if you were stranded on a desert island, who would you call first? My husband. Well, Judy, what do you think is your biggest strength? Uh, my biggest strength is that I'm a networker, I like to speak with people, and I like to help people. And what's your biggest weakness? That I'm a networker, I like to speak with people, and I like to help people. Well, what was the most memorable high holiday that you've had? Yom Kippur. Who is your biggest inspiration? Biggest inspiration? I guess my mother. And do you like going to the movies, or do you like watching them at home? Both. What was the most recent film you've watched? Uh, yesterday, I watched Otherhood. Movie you laughed the hardest at? I used to laugh a lot at the Bob Newhart show. Who's someone you would love to meet, but haven't had the chance to? Oprah. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? To be able to do more work quicker and efficiently. Last place you traveled to? Vermont. What are three things in your bag that you can't live without? Uh, makeup, my nail clipper, and my iPhone. And What's your favorite shade of lipstick? Um, Clinique Red. Now, Judy, I know you love to dance, so what song always gets you on the dance floor? Any Motown music. Can you show me your best dancer? I need somebody else to do it with. But maybe when we get down to the house, we could do the question again. What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, hmm. Frankfurters that are grilled with sauerkraut and a, ham and a frankfurter roll. Is or um, beef ribs cooked with sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. What color do you wear the most, usually? I love bright colors. If you could choose any place to be right now, where would you go? London. Best gift you've ever received? Love. Best gift you've ever given? Love. What's an experience in your life where you felt nervous? Uh, when I did my TED talk. What do you hope to be doing this time next year? Oh, uh, let's see. A beautiful vacation. Traveling, going to the theater in another country. Summer or winter? Uh, fall. Sunset or sunrise? Sunrise. Biggest learning experience in your life? Doing the TED Talk. Judy, where are we? We're in our apartment, Jorge's in my apartment, and our office. And you've got a lot of photos here, Judy. Which photo makes you smile the most? Uh, the photo of Jorge and myself the day we got married, and the photos surrounding of my mother and father and Jorge's family. And I can't help but notice, but this is the famous background for the human perspective. What made you start the project? I needed to create a new job for myself, and I decided I wanted to video stories 
told by disabled people about themselves. Who is the one person you would want to interview for your YouTube channel? Oh, crap. Celebrity crush? Huh. Paul Newman, but he's dead. Well, Judy, you must have a really green thumb. How many plants do you have? I imagine we have about 30. And what's your favorite flower? Um, I love roses, irises, tulips. Judy, crunchy cookies or soft cookies? Crunchy. Is there anything you would want to do in your next life? Live a good life now. What do you hope for the future? I hope that we can dismantle many of the terrible things that have been going on in the last three years, get rid of hate, allow people to respect everybody, and change people in political power. And Judy, what do all of these cards say that are hung up on your walls? I get cards for my birthday, for Jewish holidays, for Jorge's birthday, and our anniversary, and I hang a lot of them up. Now, what's one thing you wish you knew at age 18? That I would have lots of opportunities in my life and not worry so much about what was going to happen in the future. What are you most excited about in life right now? People organizing to bring about political change. And what's one thing people don't know about your career? Um, I've had a very long career both in the nonprofit and government world and I've done a lot of international work and met great people from other countries. And what's your biggest fear in life? Not knowing what's happening next and really being afraid of the hate that's being created in this country. What are you most proud about? I'm most proud of the disability movement and how it's growing and beginning to impact broader political movements. What's the first thing you notice about someone? When we're walking down the street, their butts and their underwear. What's the most important quality to have in a friend? Kindness and ability to be compassionate. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Listen, be respectful. And what advice would you give yourself 17 years from now? 17 years from now? Uh, Keep trucking. Best documentary of all time? Uh, Last Worth Living. If you could make a documentary yourself, what would it be about? I'm not making one myself, but I'm in one crip camp. If you could switch lives with someone past or present, who would it be? Eleanor Roosevelt. Country you wish to visit? Um, huh, it's so many. Something you could never live without? Mexican food and music, and my religion, Judaism. Three words to describe yourself? Compassionate, loving, enjoyed children. If you could change one law right now, what would it be? Uh, laws that deny people the right to become citizens in the United States. Are hot dog sandwiches? Uh, I don't call them hot dogs, I only call them frankfurters. And they're a sandwich if they're in a bun with head that has great sauerkraut and mustard. Can you play any instruments? Yeah, I played the piano when I was growing up. But I my uh, reach is not very long, and my feet don't hit the foot pedals or the pedals on the piano. So I'm not really that great with the piano. Well, can you sing? Yes, I used to sing better when I was younger, but I love to sing. If you love to sing, what's your go-to song on the karaoke? Um, I like songs. Do you prefer to talk or to listen? Both. What's inspiring you in life right now? Uh, people recognizing that we need to live without hate and more work being done to accomplish that objective. What would you like to be remembered for? Uh, my compassion and fight for change. And Judy, what would you like people to know about the disability movement? It's becoming more powerful. Disabled people are feeling prouder and speaking up, uh, recognizing that disability is a part of who they are. Judy, we have a meeting in five minutes. Okay, where is it?
outside. Okay. Well, Judy, before you leave, could you show us that dance move? Everybody, this is Maeve. Hi. And behind the camera, we have Catherine, who will show her face. And this is the movement that I like to do in dance. And Maeve hasn't really done it before, so I'm going to teach her now. I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lift my arm up. All the way up. I'm going to turn. And you're going to turn. And then we'll do it again. Whoops. There you go. You'll learn it here. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us, Judy. I'm really glad you came. It was great fun. Bye. Bye-bye.